Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This video talks about the concepts of individualism and uh, liberty. Individualism is defined as the philosophy which says that every individual is a separate entity. Nobody else has anything to do with the individual. The individual has no responsibilities to anyone, uh, any, anyone else. Nobody else can prohibit the actions of the individual, whatever the actions of the individual be. Uh, it is also based on the fact that there is nothing like relations. That is, a father and a mother can not uh, stop their child from doing anything. The state can also not prohibit anything which the child wishes to do. Which, I, uh, which the youth uh, try to do. This is the concept of individualism. This concept neglects the fact that an individual is a part of the society and he has some obligations towards the society and he has some rights from the society. He has to fulfill his needs, keeping in view the needs of the society and the responsibilities uh, that he has uh, towards the society. From the concept of individualism, another concept comes out that is the liberty, concept of liberty. Liberty is defined as the freedom of any human being to do anything he wishes or she wishes. This is also a faulty concept as a human being cannot do anything he wishes. The concept of liberty says that Nobody can stop you from doing anything you wish. Neither your relatives can do that, neither the state can do that, no, neither the police department can do that, anything else. So the concept of liberty is also a broken concept. It is not feasible in the society. Liberty should be there but it has limits. Liberty has limits. A human being should be liberal with limits. For example, he should be stopped from doing anti-social acts. So this is not an infringement upon the liberty. Similarly, he should be uh, obliged to, to, to his parents. He should uh, not be harsh towards his parents and his parents can uh, prevent him from doing some things. This is not against liberty. Liberty should be uh, in a balanced way. It should be balanced. Uh, every individual is a part of the society and he is also an individual at the same time. This is similar to the fact that every brick is the part of the wall. At the same time, every brick is an entity in itself. The individual existence of the brick cannot be there without the wall, existence of the wall. So if the brick is to exist there at that position in the wall, then it has to limit its freedoms. It has to stay at one place and it has to perform its duties and it has to support the other bricks and it has to cooperate with others that, uh, that it has to cooperate with the cement in order to keep the wall erect. Similarly, every individual is a part of the society and at the same time he is an entity in itself, himself. So, he has responsibilities for the society. He has to limit his freedoms and to limit his liberties in order to fit in the wall of the society or the structure of the society so that the society be functional just as the wall will be functional only if every brick recognizes its functions and responsibilities if the individual uh, insists upon individualism without existence in the society and does not limit his freedoms and liberties then the society will not work the liberties that the western society has given to individuals uh, include the liberty of sexual determination, 
the liberty of thought, the liberty of speech, and many other liberties. They are all parts in this. Uh, liberty of sexual determination leads to promiscuity, which has many other disadvantages. They will be taken up in a separate video, inshallah, Rahman. Nobody needs to know what are they. Nobody needs to stress their mind to know what are the disadvantages of promiscuity. Liberty of the freedom of speech should also be curtailed because there cannot be liberty that a person can say anything. This is just an illogical supposition. If a person says something which is antisocial, then that liberty should be curtailed. And it is curtailed in the Western countries. If somebody says anything against the government, then that man is put in the prison. So this concept is only theoretical and it is not practical. It is not practicable and it has not been practiced by any country in the world. Similarly, there is liberty of thought. It is also to be curtailed because what everybody thinks may not be right. If I think that theft benefits me and I begin to proclaim this thing, then should this pride of thought right of thought be curtailed or not yes it should be curtailed because it is not good it is not uh, logical something that is not logical uh, should be curtailed so what should be the limits of the uh, what should be the limits of freedom and what should be the limits of uh, individualism this uh, has been decided by the collective conscience of human beings from the time human beings have set foot on this earth up till now. There are some absolute facts which have been determined from, by the collective conscience. For example, murder is wrong, theft is wrong, or robbing someone is wrong, uh, abusing someone is wrong, attacking any country is wrong, or uh, uh, Ancestors relations are wrong, extramarital sex is wrong, every society has prohibited it. If not every society, most of the societies uh, having liquor is wrong and uh, antisocial activities are wrong, using weapons against the government is wrong, terrorizing someone is wrong. So there are some absolute facts. Uh, though there is no absolute morality, but there are some absolute morals which everyone thinks is wrong uh, everyone thinks that these morals are there one of the methods of curtailing the one of the methods of curtailing the individuality and liberty concepts so that they become practicable in the society is referring to islam and islam provides a solution for everything that is there in your life. Every problem of your life is discussed in Islam in detail and it provided the right approach to live, uh, live, in, uh, live your life. See you again inshallah.